This mist is not the work of our goddess Ashi. I am afraid it is the devilment and trickery of our enemies. Prince Arislan, you worry more than the old men do. We have 85,000 warriors, and the hills and valleys of Atropathena are a shining river of armor. Are you suggesting that Iron Dragor, as the victor of a hundred battles or more, should run from my enemies? Perhaps it is you who wants to run from your first battle. It is common knowledge throughout all the kingdoms that our king is the bravest, that we have by far the strongest troops and the toughest steel, and yet I too am worried that we might be ambushed. What are you saying, Darion? I'm saying that I share Prince Arislan's misgivings. I too believe the mist to be the work of our enemies. Under cover of their sorcery, the Lusitanians move up their men so as to lie in wait for our troops. Are you feeling the cold wind of fear? May I remind you of your position and your pledge to our king? A man must earn his honor, and for a soldier that means fighting. Should a commander of 10,000 men be giving himself up to cowardly thoughts? You twist my words. I have no wish to sacrifice my men unnecessarily. So you're saying the battle against the Lusitanians will provoke an unnecessary sacrifice of your men? Your mouth seems to be more active than you'd wish your swords to be. Along with Carlan, you are my most trusted commander, and now you would dare contradict your king? Oh, I beg your mercy, your majesty. Please allow this old man to apologize for his disrespectful nephew. You are banished from my court and stripped of your command. And don't let me ever see your face again! At last, the moment we've been waiting for. This mist will serve us too, for he who knows the land will win. Follow my command, the battle will be won. Victory will be ours! Darion, and I am here to take command of your men. I know you are concerned, but do not worry for them. I will look after them in your command until the day you resume your post. You may be stripped of your rank. But eventually the day will come when you'll be called upon to take over the post of Chief of Staff. And that's why it's so important you should be a friend and ally to Prince Arislan. I should be an ally and friend to the Prince? Yes, the future of our kingdom lies with the young Prince. You know that the present King has not been the ruler we deserved. He has squandered the kingdom's wealth and made our people poor. With Arislan as King, we will return to prosperity and strength. Find him and guard him with your life. With my life, we shall meet again at Ectabahana. Goddess Ashi, ancestral kings of Pulsa, give us victory! Smell 
this. Ah, it's oil. It's oil. It's oil. The oil. Who's that in the cold helmet? It must be the prince. Let's get him. <laughs> Bravely, Prince. Shame that such an able warrior will not last the day. Both you and Pulsar will be lost before sunset! What? Soldier, you speak out of turn, so beware! Say your prayers. Die! Not today, your turn! And you betrayed the kingdom and all those who had trust in you! Not so! You are mistaken. I've not betrayed the kingdom of Pulsar. However, I am one of the leaders in a plot to take the throne from Andragora. You side with the Lusitanians, our enemies! At last, I understand. It was your doing to disgrace me before the king and have me stripped of my command. You had to get me out of the way so you could ambush and destroy our troops. <laughs> I'd hardly allow a man like you to keep command of 10,000 warriors. That would have put our plans in danger. It's even worse than I imagined. You'll pay dearly for these cold-blooded crimes. Big talk! Take him, man! Yeah. Yeah. You haven't seen the last of me, Colin! <laughs> <laughs> 